I am going to stress test your defense team with this Hilda. Very simple task, right? All you have to do is make sure your defense team is Hilda proof. And to do that, you're going to send me a friend request. Right there. You see that? that that's, uh, that's my friend code. Go ahead and do your thing. Send me your friend. I will go into your AR um, defense team. And I'm going to throw Hilda in front of it. And we're going to see if you can win. If your team can beat Hilda, it can beat most things. Basically, Tana Baton, it, it gives me drive guard, basically. And then, you already know how Lucina works. So this is basically, these two together, is basically Special Fighter. Which leaves Hilda open for a free B and C slot. Pretty nuts, huh? It has been a while, and yes, this is a plus 10 Hilda. Now I'm just gonna get in position and claim my free win. Let's see if your Duke can uh, do anything. I could have did a link push up, but I guess it didn't. There's actually a lot of open room. If I had like a a support C slot for Reagan, I could actually get more uh, stats for my Hilda, but I guess not. 45, 36, 43, 32, should be fine. Yeah, see all of your chills and stuff, they just miss because I make sure to soak chills. Ten HP above. Did not one shot, but I still got the double. All right. I already sparked Hilda and Altina. Should go for Brenny or Sephirin. I highly recommend sparking for Sephirin. See, here's the thing. His kit and him being an armor, not all that much. But this weapon, this weapon is actually super good for fodder. And then even if you don't have that, if you're looking to improve your AR defense, odd recovery is actually super busted. Because if you have this, you can actually um, not get isolated by Mila or Bright Fjorm. And that'll actually let you uh, use those units again. Which means you'll be able to do more busted defense teams. So, as far as fodder or unit quality goes, I would say go for a Sephron. Like, X-Men's Bernie is good and all, but... I mean, you can't go wrong with anyone on the banner, but... I feel like picking up at least one or two of these dudes is probably the play. See if we can't get her to come out. No? No, she doesn't want to come out and play. That's fine. Still has ground orders on Jacob, so I should be careful. So what would I do here then? I'd probably just move up one space here. And then do a shove. Yeah, that's not full power though. Like without the guard, like, then I won't be able to one-shot the Jacob, so... This is actually clogged up enough to where I, I would probably be better off going on... going this direction. But yeah, this is definitely a good way to stop people from, like, trying to run up the left side, I guess. And then Raven is Raven. He's probably not gonna... So let's see what happens. Can she tank all of it? Well, can she tank Makaya is the question. Sixty-two. She can barely tank it. All right, now that was definitely funny. Oh damn, I one-shot that. Let's go. Over here? 
I'm gonna see if I can get her to come out now. This is what, Kumite? Yeah. Even if she tries to double Reagan, she probably will not kill her. Probably. Oh, I can panic now. I see. Alright. You've had your fun. Get out of here. If I don't one round... Hold on. If I can get Lucina out of the way, it'll work. Consider it done. Yeah. Nah, I'm trying not to kill her. If I do this... He doesn't have armor boots. No, he doesn't. Okay, see, that should do then. Uh, Probably make Nils attack Ray. Or maybe attack. Nah, I don't trust that. Also, he's the one with panic ploy. So yeah, that makes sense. See, if you had some mythics on your team and he had like 66 HP, that'll make it very difficult for people to camp here. And you would probably be able to move your panic manor elsewhere. Alright, so let's see if we can get him to sit here. I don't need him. I don't need to do it, but because I already got the Aether Pods, but I just want to see if I can do it. No, Ray actually just kills her. And, okay. So your map is definitely not Hilda Proof. <laughs> it's close. Like, you were 2 HP off for, with the bond and everything. Hilda managed to tank uh, the Brave Micaiah. Which is super funny. Oh, it's an Obby Pasta. Alright. Gale Force Harid. Is this really an obby pasta if you put Mirabilis in front and not a ranged horse? Yeah, this is like a really bad obby pasta. I'm sorry. Sudden Panic Gray, though. That's interesting. Oh, he's plus 10. Nice. I feel like you should probably rearrange this somewhere. I'm not sure, but this is this is definitely a free map. I can tell you right now, this is not Hilda proof. <laughs> Let's see what happens, though. You never know. Uh oh. Well, yeah, that's definitely not good. I just activated the map for free and nothing attacked me. On attack already. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I didn't double. Melee bouquet, that's why. I was like, I was like, oh, I thought this gray was cracked for a moment, but no, he just has melee bouquet, which is interesting. What's this? Glimmer? Mm, that's not gonna do much, is it, huh? Nice. And now I just get to pick off for free. This is what we like to call easy and free. Dolly is pretty cool though, but I'm afraid that 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 needs like a lot of work, unfortunately. So we're gonna pretend my Illywood is actually good. I'm just gonna show you for example though. So the idea behind the Yabi Pasta, supposedly. And then Nana sits here, and then Nana has like all this range to hit. Then turn one, somebody with like an Illywood or something, they would rally the Nana before they attack. 
then the Makaya would dance him or the Olivia dancer, whatever dancers right here. So he'd go here, get dance, then he just goes down here and then just fucks all your shit up. And that's basically Avi Pasta in a nutshell. Like if you do that, you'll pick up wins like super easy. Like most people use the Glacies for like a single kill with like lull speed death or they'll just give him lunge and gale force and call it a day. That's basically what they're doing with that. And it's like a, it's super easy to set up and yeah. So what would actually happen though, like with uh, an actual rollout would be this. Like, he's not doing damage to heal the period. So, definitely not healed or resistant. And, yeah, you kind of just barely touch. Because your boy here has like hella res. One shot. One shot, exact lethal. I could actually just leave Zane alone and take these two out. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. With utter certainty. Ready. All right. And now for the fun part. Let's go. All I have to do have is not overkill. Oh, you had advantage on him. That's cute. Understood. All right. Yeah. It's so cold. Over here. <laughs> Holly Jolly Hilda. Consider it done. I won't lose. This makes sense. This makes sense. This does not make sense. Because it's not like you have distant counter on Oscar. If you did, then this would make a little more sense. Actually, this still makes no sense because the only infantry you have here that would be able to take advantage of it is Lith. And he's all the way over here. So you could probably put something a little lazy here, like a drive, or you could put panic ploy here so people don't try to like glue eat on Zane. He's in he's minus attack unfortunately, but don't worry about that too much because he has enough HP to probably tank. So probably just switch out this C slot for something. Vantage, a little silly, but I guess it's okay if you don't have no follow up or something crazy like that. I'm actually very curious to see if this ever got you like any like surprise kills though. Uh yeah that's free. Oh, Thrasher. Holy shit, my Thrasher is actual... <laughs> Yo, my Altina is actual garbage. Holy shit. Alright. There's no reason that I won't one-shot this Ellie Wood. Bike Rally. Bike goes in first. Can't kill, though. But, Lunge? Oh, Wings of Mercy on the Duma. All right, now that's a good play. All right. Definitely not killing Hilda anytime soon, but that is uh, that's actually pretty good. So I would just do this, repo her out, run her in here, and then get rid of the healing tower. So, I have to do it by turn three, because I gotta make sure they don't heal. So, what I would do is, one. Over here? Holly Jolly Hilda. With utter certainty. And because, if you had a catapult here, 
it would work better. But so it's so cold. Understood. Let's be off. Worrisome. Yeah. You have my trust. Ready. So now you don't have enough HP to do your trick. So with that, no flying Duma, no heals. It's a uh, pretty much a. Uh, it's that's pretty much GG right there. You still get your you still get your flying Duma, but he can't do much. And yeah, Reagan is so bro. This Kanto is so busted, dude. Like it basically solved the map for me. Here's what you do. You get some bacon and then you get some sliced cucumbers and that's the pizza. It's a bacon cucumber pizza. I promise it's good. That is not cursed food. It's so good, dude. Don't want, don't want me. I, I, I'm telling you guys, cucumber pizza is the good shit. I promise it's better than it sounds. That was probably a bad idea. Yeah, that was an awful idea. Holy shit. Okay. I think I just threw that actually. See, this is why you make sure you read what your structures do. Because I probably just kind of ended myself right there. Remember to read, uh, remember to read the structures, kiddos. Aw, oh, didn't one shot. That's bad. Dude, I almost threw that. <laughs> I almost threw that so bad. I wonder if Regan actually can tank that. Probably not. Alright, Hilda's actually kind of busted. She was panicked. I'm gonna I'm I'm stay panicked too, just to see if I can do it again. Free. Oh yeah, that is definitely not Hilda proof. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh, what special is that? Luna, I guess. That still kind of hurt though. One shot. Ooh! Hold up! That was actually real. What's this? I. Dude, it's just Iceberg, it's not even Glacies! Alright, that's a real ass Julia, holy shit, bro. Dude, you're just, you're just missing one bird, you even have all 15 flowers. Yo, Mirror Impact 2? Ooh, that's actually really good. Like, yeah, type disadvantage and all, but I'm actually surprised that uh, that's actually secured a kill. Yeah. Julia does really good damage. She doesn't do enough damage. Like, she does enough damage here because, like, I didn't actually get the heal because of Eliwood. Eliwood is actually super annoying about that. Had I healed, I didn't actually heal enough from the Thracer in order to uh, tank the hit. Because of that, 
Julia actually gets the kill and yeah. So I can sit here. All right, we're gonna do it here because I think this should at least guarantee that Rolf will not attack twice because he's getting 20 damage for free. And this is just Sacred Cow, so. How much attack does he have? Because if I open this... Nah. Sephiroth's probably not tanking that. I was thinking of opening in this, so if he does get dance, I can just like kind of bring him over. Well, let's do it from here. Wait, I did something wrong. I got hit with a chill. 16. And then it's a one shot. Mirabilis. No damage, but still a free 20. Alright. Yeah, that's absolutely obnoxious. Oh, I can heal more. Can Thrasher hit if, uh, right there? No. Only four. I'll take it. Let's see, 49 to 38. But also, I guess Thracia would also hit Raven too, so... I could probably just go ahead and hit this, but I'm not. This is definitely gonna be like pot denial again though. Alright, Kana should be a free-ish enough target. Alright. Forty-two by two, that's an overkill. Kana will probably kill Lucina if I leave her there. Probably kill Raven too, actually. No, he has like uh, 67. Okay, Raven will be fine, but I think Raven might actually overkill. Where the hell is she getting all this defense though? Maybe he won't overkill. If I block with Hilda, will Hilda overkill? I feel like Hilda will overkill. What turn is it? Four. Okay. So this is the last turn for this. Alright, we'll see if Hilda overkills or not. Hilda does not overkill. Let's see. God, I hope that's not the real trap. Wait. Yes. 
Yeah, there's no way she's uh, getting this. Okay. That works. What? Okay. We're gonna pretend we did not see that. Not Hilda proof. It's probably not one. Well, it's probably not gonna work. And this is just me trying to take specifically the Thracer. Like if, uh, does she have Ruse? She does. They both have Ruse, so it's actually gonna be kind of difficult to like get healing procs out. How hard? Well, you just have to watch. So the Ruse kicks in and Lucina dies because Luc Lucina bad. Wow, I don't even double. Alright, this is looking very sack play. This is looking... Wow, this is actually super dicey, holy shit. So... Bop. Wow, I don't actually double. This is surprising. And at one shot, so I can't really get anything out of this. It's so cold. God. And then, yeah. This is gonna kill something. Ah, you almost had it. If I had a Wrath for Refine, I could just kill uh, the Petrine right here. Then Hilda can finish off. Since I don't have that, uh... God, I really need to get some refines. So... Yeah. That's, uh... That's something. Altina bad. Dude, what the hell is this? You have a plus 10 Camilla? Get out of here. And it's also a store. Dude, this looks so fucking annoying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Lucina is gonna die here. Like, no question. Like, Camilla's just gonna restore Lysithia, get dance, and then, like, that's it. She just fucking dies. Okay, she actually went for Raging instead. This impact, or is she really just that fast? Okay, she's really just that fast. Yeah, it didn't matter. Like, she went here. She would have hit uh, Lucina. I was trying to figure out how I could dodge it, but I guess not. Also, she one-shot Regen. Like, what the hell? I mean, it is plus 10, but also... Jesus, dude. Normally, although Camilla is, like, right here, and then she's restoring a unit that's right here, you would think she would sit in place, right? But... A unique mechanic that's only on this map or map with defense tiles is they will actually move forward to sit on the defense tile and then do it. You can use that for rallies and you can use it for restore. So they will automatically go for this spot if they're like restoring something here. So the AI tends to hug defense tiles, making it like really hard to like find the spot to dodge. So like from here, she moves like one, two, and then either three spaces here or here. 
So you have to plan it. You have to plan it out super far in advance. So let's see what happens now. Yeah, she still moves there. And since she doesn't kill Hilda, she just retreats back up. But the map is activated now. And then... Uh, I shouldn't have uh, did that. That's gonna be really hard to... That's gonna be really hard to kill. Actually, she doesn't have ground orders, so... She should restore one of these two. Get danced and move all the way down here. Yeah, this is legitimately challenging. Yeah, it's not happening. Alright, that's one way to do it. Oh, dude, I just realized why you have... Yeah, you have Bernadetta here. So, she's automatically gonna heal something and automatically move forward because Bernadetta on turn one damages the whole team. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's so big brain. That's actually super fucking annoying. That's like really good. I like that. I actually have Bernadetta too, so I might play around with that. Yeah, this is this is super fucking impressive, dude. I like this. Ah, oh, I kind of want to trap gamble, but Let's go. turn two it doesn't matter because she's gonna move out here and move three spaces. So yeah, I think I busted it again. Like this isn't gonna work because the force restore forward, and then the dance, and then the snipe. I have no idea how I can realistically break through that. Like, I'd have to actually use my real units on that. Like, that's good. 